What is up you guys? So today I'm actually customizing my bed and it's gonna look awesome, don't freak out. All right, so before we can get started, let me show you guys what it looks like right now. So this is what my headboard looks like right now. My bed is kind of boring. It, it reminds me of like an old people bed. Like no offense to old people, that's really not what I want. Like maybe one day when I'm old, we can, like that will be okay. But for now, no. We're gonna update it. So if you wanna see that, let's go on to the next part. By the way, I filmed this like months ago, so if I look different or my hair looks different, that's the reason why I don't freak out. So Jar, what do you think about my bed right now? Thoughts, opinions, give it a rating, one through 10. Uh, out of 10, probably like a six. Wow. I think you could just be better, do better. That's, that's kind of mean since I made that headboard, but you know what? I appreciate the honest um, opinion. For the project itself as a DIY, because you did it yourself, like a 10, but like in terms of the actual quality. Wow, okay, so oh, now since you want to roast me, I'm going to just shut the camera <laughs> off. All. To be honest, I kind of winged this project, but I'm just going to describe to you what you should do if you want to do this. First of all, I use leather. You don't have to use leather. You can use whatever kind of fabric you want, but make sure you clean your fabric. The problem is a lot of times if you use like a dirty fabric or something that just has like even the tiny tiniest like layer of dust your paint won't stick to it so that's how you'll have splotchy paint your colors will look weird and it won't dry on time second of all make sure you wrap your fabric around your bed super tight because you don't want anything going wrong like when you pick it up and you move it around you don't want the paint to wrinkle and like do weird stuff so that those are the two most important things good fabric to paint on and make sure it's nice and tight when you stick it onto your headboard. I use a staple gun to do mine. You can use nails, you can use glue. Whatever will work best for you, you should do that. And one of the things people always ask me, they're like, oh, is it gonna crack? Is it gonna like discolor? When you rub your head on it, won't the paint come off? No, let me show you why. Instead of going to the store and buying expensive like spray paint, which could like be, pre which might not work as well and you don't wanna like carry it back and forth inside and out to spray paint it just get this this is acrylic matte finisher it's actually kind of glossy so if you want to get a dollar as well to like tame the shine a little bit i didn't just because i like the glossy look like on custom sneakers i really like the glossy look on my headboard i really like the glossy look so i just get the matte one and the matte one is glossy enough so don't get the glossy one because then it'll just be extra glossy so just get the matte one because the matte one's glossy anyway i don't know why they call it matte so yeah just go over it with a matte finish put your paintbrush on it use a hairbrush not a hair a hair dryer to go over it a couple times and it should be good that's all you really need to do and also always have a plan like you can see whenever i did mine I did one side red and one side blue. I wrote which was which. I made sure that was clear because the last thing you want is to accidentally like switch up the sides just because it just ruins your workflow. It makes the process so much harder and it just won't look as good if it's not as neat and organized. Especially for this design, I wanted to do like a vape inspired kind of design and I wanted to make sure it looked as like close to the original as possible without like being a complete copycat well it is a complete copycat but you get the point point. and for if you for like the bigger parts on like the blue and the red i used spray paint i just used regular spray paint i think i used like the high gloss latex one because that's what worked best i took it outside and carried it like on my back and just sprayed it because that's what was easiest to do at the time so i would definitely suggest you do that just because it would take forever to have to like paint every single section with like a tiny paintbrush and just go over it if you can do that like go ahead and do it but personally i would opt out of a task like that like that just sounds like way too much work and it will probably look exactly the same if not better if you just spray painted it so paint as i said earlier i use spray paint for the large sections for the smaller sections in the camo angelus leather paint let me go grab them real quick give me a second so for the most part this was the color lineup i used i used red i used blue and i used white for the lighter parts of the blue i just mixed in some white for the darker parts of the red i just mixed it in some black just make sure whatever leather paint you use use the same brand throughout because if you don't you could end up with like super weird results which is never good because it's like like i've done it before and it's not that big of a deal but with something that size you can see cracks and like where the color is a little bit different or it might dry differently and you don't want that you just want a consistent 
color throughout, especially with like something like this where you don't really want that many different highlights and shading and stuff like that. And also make sure you always have like a really big bottle of white because you will use a lot of white. I have a whole other bottle like this one's completely empty just because of how much I use it. So that's a really important thing I wanted to add just in case you were wondering. All right, class, welcome to Paint Mixing 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make camouflage. I don't know why you would want to do this, but if you do, follow this tutorial. So first of all, you want to grab all your paint colors. Our base colors are uh, red and blue. So those are the colors that are going to be in the center. Those are the focus. And all the other, other colors are going to be shades or variations of that color. Make sure you can get your truest red and your truest blue. Not like this, because this is turquoise and that will make everything look a little bit off because it has more of a green tone. And this is pink, so it'll make everything look a little bit more off because it's more of a red tone. Make sure you're only working with white, black, and your original color. So first off, you're going to take a container, put your red in there, get another container, put your blue in there. Ew, that's gross. Okay. So after you do that, you want to make sure these, this is the colors we're not straying away from. These are the originals and basically we're going to make colors with these. So we have our red and our blue. This is going to be the dark version of the red. This is going to be the dark version of the blue. You're going to grab your black. Only like one dot. Some people who are artists say don't use black, but for this situation it's fine. In other situations, maybe like build upon your colors and like avoid black at all costs. But Today, it's not that big of a deal. So grab your black. Okay, pour your black in there. I put too much, but you're gonna do better than me and not do that because you're gonna do as I say and not as I do, or neither if you're smart. Okay, so then you pour a little bit of your black in here. Just because I put too much. Okay, this should be good. Then you're gonna take the same color red put it in one container, same color blue, put it in the other container. So now we have black with red and blue with red. And then we're gonna do the same. So theoretically, you would have already used these two. So you wanna make them lighter because it's not a big deal anymore. So you're gonna grab your white. <laughs> if we can find it. Okay, so we have our white here. Grab your white, pour, Look at that. This is, I love doing this. Let me show, let me bring it up to the camera. Isn't that satisfying? It is to me. Okay, so you're gonna bring your white, pour some of that in there. And then, this is gonna probably make pink, but I'll show you how we fix that. Okay, so then you grab a little bit of this and pour that in there. So you're gonna have dark red, light red, light blue, dark red, dark blue and then you mix it all together
all right you guys our custom headboard is done let me know what you think this was a super fun project to do and i honestly want to do more headboards i think i'm gonna do like a grassy inspired headboard next so let me know what you think i should customize what ugh. let me know what you think i should customize next and i will see you guys in the next video